the really the interesting thing is his position for us as a Mitcham cricketer. You know, he played frequently on Mitcham cricket green. So even at the end of the season, um, he'd come back to Mitcham and play for Mitcham Club and play in games of fathers against sons. His sons, as you said, one of them, Sydney, went on to become a, an editor of Wisden. But he also had other sons who who played cricket, continued to play for Mitcham for many years. Through Mitcham, he actually retained a pretty close connection with um, his Australian opponents, didn't he? Uh, they were up to begin every tour there. Yeah, they, yeah, you're right. Absolutely. So I think the first Australian tour, um, other than the Aboriginal one, was in 1878. After playing uh, against Surrey, they won the game in two days. And th on the third day, they drove to Southerton's pub in Mitcham on their way to the Epsom Derby. So they stopped there for a few drinks with Southerton. Southerton had written very favourably about the standard of cricket in Australia that he had encountered. Um, so I think they were quite well disposed to him and they stopped at Mitcham and it began a tradition of the Mitcham of the Australians when they came on tour starting some of their practice by going to Mitcham Cricket Green for, for practice. Um, that went on into the 1890s I think so unlikely to be to be to, to resume but it, it was there for quite a while and um, they clearly liked and respected Southerton as a cricketer and, and, and as a man.